Oh man, so the Brick Lady Rhoda Osmond has had issues with content creators that weren't on her side covering the, the Brick Gay situation. Out of everyone, she's picked her target and now she's calling out none other than YouTuber I Am Eloho. Now Eloho is the homie, I watch her content. Sometimes she even drops by in this comment section over here. But I haven't seen her speak on the situation yet. But in the meantime, let me catch y'all up to what's going on. See, Eloho held Rhoda's feet to fire, just as everyone else did when it came to her story in the Brickgate situation. She lied not once, not twice, multiple times, created multiple GoFundMes. It's just really sad that she's abusing resources and abusing women who just want to create a safe space for other women. Like, it's really crazy how she could do something like this. Allegedly, child, allegedly. Let me know if you never believed her from the beginning. Let me know if you no longer believe her now. And let me know if you still actually believe her. There's people that actually still believe that this woman was attacked. And everybody has a right to believe what they want. But me personally, I'm not going to go just on emotion. I want to follow the receipts. I want to follow what makes sense. And I'm sorry, the math ain't mathing for me. I support black women, but I also support the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. What, what are you doing and where are you at that men are constantly tossing bricks your way and if that is the truth that you are constantly getting bricks tossed at you there needs to be real reports not coming to social media in a frenzy saying look what these men did look what these men did you need to be in a protection program at this point with all of these social experiments and people just wanting to go viral people just wanting to get money it's going to be really hard for actual victims to be believed we keep saying this and for this woman to be a dark-skinned african woman shame 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 on you africans were catching strays behind this black men were catching strays behind this those guys that were there were catching strays behind this. C come on to my face joe wrote a test to her instagram to fire back and eloho is the main person that she took issue with her last thing she did was share this article right here it says brick gates revives an age-old argument between black men and women and her caption she says read real news not irresponsible bloggers and gossipers like i am eloho and others who are using my pain to make money and spread hate they use bud words like receipts when they have none zero critical thinking and just spreading violence for money attention and clicks if you're going to read about me at least read those that actually have an obligation to do due diligence and only print truth y'all really forget the difference between the journalist and someone with a laptop so that comes after she shared this right here so eloho put this up it says brick gate exposed as a scam with receipts she put out a long message and it's crazy please guys don't dislike this video please i'm just reading what she's saying i'm not agreeing with what she's saying but i'm gonna read this as quick as I can, alright? She says, I understand the white supremacists, they always been like this. I also am very articulate on how misogyny operates, but black women, this is beyond heartbreaking. To clarify, I have never made a GoFundMe ever to get help for violence, but I've experienced violence a lot in my life. I am black, a woman, Muslim, refugee, queer, etc. Gosh. Violence comes with my identity and in many forms. I was attacked in 2020 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I was defending another black woman. The, the security footage was released and showed it was blatant hate crime. He was targeting a black woman. The black woman I defended already spoke out. It was very public and there were dozens of witnesses. Y'all literally punishing me for defending our own. I would do it again. I never set up a GoFundMe or asked for a dime. My medical bills were over $18,000 and I was in debt behind the situation for a long time. I have donated to several GoFundMes. I have helped crowdfund for many people in my community. I have donated out of my own pocket to many causes even though I'm a single mother and a student. I have always gave what I can. I operate in my community. Besides all that and taking me out of the equation completely, what are we even saying as a collective? That if a person had a GoFundMe during a whole pandemic, they could never ask for support again? P.S. Let's pull up everyone with a GoFundMe during 2020. You won't find Stacy on there, I can bet you that. She continued to say, are we saying that if a black woman was attacked once and made it public, she has to be silent if it happens again? We can only speak up once and the rest must silently endure. Nah, no, 
know. I'm sorry to cut it raw because I know it's a lot to get through, but but I gotta bring some reasoning in here. No one's saying that at all. Don't just hop to that extreme. You just seem to have a pattern that you always are a victim of some situations that other people don't go through. So people are starting wondering why is it always you? And then you combine that with your history of violence and it kind of makes sense to people. So you ask, make it make sense. Well, I hope I just did that. So let's keep reading what you're saying. So the goalpost keeps moving because the truth is y'all are happy this happened to me and now y'all are going to be as violent as possible until I'm no longer here. Okay, Ms. Rhoda, a lot of us wouldn't know you existed until the situation happened. So we're not really happy that it happened to you. It just happened to you. And we're talking about it because you made yourself a placeholder for a discussion that happens every day on social media. So she continues to say this happened. I have proof and all the lies about me online have zero receipts. Hold these consecrators accountable because the perfect victim myth doesn't serve any of us. This is very dangerous. So in the caption, she continues to say, by the way, I didn't receive $1 from this GoFundMe. Y'all are obsessed about, but didn't even donate to. Edit to clarify, it was not a scam. It was created by a great friend and colleague, Kiara, on my behalf. But because of the amount of times it has been reported, I have not received a cent. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So the irony is all these consecrators have made money off my pain for the, la for the past two weeks. They are profiting from continuing lies about me, using buzzwords like receipts and proof without providing any. They are the real scammers. They are doing this intentionally. I have never profited a dime in my life from GoFundMe. The narrative keeps changing each time more and more outrageous than the last. And they keep finding an opportunist that needs self-promotion to interview. So she's more likely referring to a celebrity. That's Daphne Forrest Sutton. And I believe she interviewed her ex-best friend and ex-fiance. I haven't watched that yet, to be honest. But go check that out. I may check it out if I have some downtime. But Brick Lady continues to say, but the truth is I have donated not just my money, but my blood, sweat, and tears, edges, and my life's works to creating a better world for all of us. I was in depth the last time I was attacked in 2020, and I will be in severe depth after this attack. Y'all are so obsessed about money I did not receive while y'all are, are actively making money lying about me and spreading fake narratives. Y'all may not have hit me over the head, but y'all are just as violent in my opinion. <laughs> By the way, I went to the number one journalism school in the country, Columbia Journalism, and the fact that y'all listening to these no ethics, no skill, no literacy, no critical thinking bloggers is just laughable. This is not journalism, it's gossip and violence. Stop saying violence. Stop saying violence. Come on. But Ms. Rhoda, I, it all comes down to what I said in my previous video. You have to be smart enough to understand the internet. You plan into it. You participate in it on the daily. You threw yourself in the middle of a gender war and contextualize an argument. With your reaction and seeing how you're handling this, being that you're saying that your mental health is not going too well, I don't think you made the right decision for coming online with the situation if it is true. Once again, I told my subscribers I'm waiting for the police report to say anything as far as whether this is a hoax or not. I don't put nothing past any human being, especially if I don't know them. I cannot testify for their character at all, but I will take the facts as they are presented and make my judgment and go from that point. But hey, man, that's how she coming at IME Loho. I will be tuning in to see if you Loho responds to the brick lady. In the meantime, y'all smash that like button on your way out. It's your boy Stacy. Yo.